23 is old. It's almost 25, which is like almost mid 20s. She did not say that. She did say that. It seems a little wrong that Jessica Simpson is alive and well and Roy got eaten by his tiger. Oh, survival of the fittest, baby. Oh man, this place is packed. Oh, damn, that's the guy, guy. I need to lose her mini tables open. What do we do? Time to hover. You take the old couple, I'll hit the cyber geek. Got it. Hello. Hello. That was some of the best hovering I've ever seen you do. I was taught by the best. But the focus, you never blinked. And the sneeze, so tiny, so dainty, so terrifying to the old. Luke's gonna be mad. I mean, he hates it when we commandeer two tables during rush hour. No, he only hated it that one time. What time? The time when we did it and he was mad. He's hated it every time we've done it. No. Yes. Only the one time. What time? The time we did it and he was mad. You're gonna do this to Luke, aren't you? Till he's so dizzy he throws up. Nice. Mm. Calendars? Let's do it. Okay, so your uh, finals induced hibernation period is setting in... Monday. Okay. So how about uh, Sunday, we have a major Sephora fix, maybe a movie, sort of a see a day before you go bye-bye? Throw in a pedicure and you got a deal. Done. Hey, coffee's gonna be ready in a sec. You know what you want? <laughs> oh, um, well, we need napkins to cover this big, wide, expansive table. Okay, uh, hey, you in the mood for pancakes? Pancakes, sure. Yeah, I guess we have enough space for pancakes. Because I'm making pumpkin pancakes, and it comes with homemade cinnamon butter. You made cinnamon butter. This morning. Wow. I bet the other people would love a table right now, but can't have one because they're all taken with love pumpkin pancakes with homemade cinnamon butter. I'll get you coffee. Hey, hold on. What? We're sitting at two tables. Yeah? You hate that. That makes you mad. Only the one time. Why are you so sunny this morning? Well, actually, I finally hired some help. Oh, good for you. Yeah, I figured I needed the help. What the hell? I got a kid in here to pick up the slack, you know? I kind of feel like a weight's been lifted, you know? That sounds very sensible. <laughs> Let me get your food going. Okay, so talk to me. Talk to you about what? Talk to me about Jason. There's nothing to talk about. Oh, come on. I'm in a serious romantic dry spell. Just, I need to live vicariously through somebody. He has called. Okay. He has sent things. Pipe bombs? Flowers, candy. Even better. But I don't know. He's my father's partner. I've known him forever. I mean, can you imagine if I actually went out with someone from my hood? Do you like him? Well, he's completely not my type, but... He does have a thing, and the smarts, and he does keep up. Maybe you should just go out with him and see what happens. No, dad would flip, and mom hates him, so she would see it as some sort of personal attack, and I'm just getting her off me for spilling wine on the carpet. When did you do that? Ninth grade. Huh. Things are quiet now. I just want to keep them quiet. Hey, Brennan, pick up. Oh my god. What? He hired Brennan Lewis. <gasps> you know him? I went to junior high with him. And? Ew! He doesn't look that bad. He's the boy who dissected a frog, did not wash his hands, and then ate a sandwich. Ew! He's like the lost Fairly brother. He's so stupid. He watched The Breakfast Club and decided to tape his own butt cheeks together. Okay. So, Mensa's not sending him a t-shirt yet, but Lucas hired him, so we have to give him a chance. Do you have the pancakes? We sure do. Hi, Brennan. Hey. Rory Gilmore, um, we went to school together. Yeah? You don't remember. Biology? The frog? There have been a lot of frogs, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the food. Yeah. Your kids will be gorgeous. <laughs>